Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. In this video, I'm going to be quickly showing you on how you can use Trello for yourself in the easiest and most simplest ways possible. So to do this, what you're going to do is first of all, you're going to come to Trello.com, create an account. Now to use Trello, what you're going to do is you're going to click on create and you can actually create a board. So you're going to click on create a board. And once you click on create a board, you're you know going to answer any board title for yourself and uh, get that board up and running. Now, once you get that board up and running, so let's say I've created this board for myself, right? I'm gonna go straight into this board. It's gonna look somewhat like this, okay? Now, how do you add things in this? So to add components, first of all, you're gonna click on list and look at that, you can add lists for yourself. So, you know, it's pretty easy to add lists. Then in the lists, you can add cards and just keep on adding more cards. And to edit those cards, you're gonna click on them and uh, you can change their descriptions you can change their activity statuses and uh, you can change every other aspect of it like members labels checklist dates attachment cover custom fields dependency estimation and all these things you know pretty straightforward and pretty easy stuff to get your head around let's say for example you're into politics okay <laughs> i know let's say you want to get this video from yesterday's debate by it and you want to cut this video into 10 small shorts. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to click on the three dots under the video and then we're going to click share. We're going to copy the link. Okay. Pay attention. This video, it's uh, around 10 minutes long. Okay. Now, after we copy the link, I want you to go on Google Chrome and I want you to find this app over here. It's called Opus Pro. Okay. It's not Opus AI. I, I see this many people making this mistake coming on Opus AI. It's Opus Pro. Okay. You want to click on Opus Pro. And this is where you're going to sign up for free. And you're going to paste the link that we just copied. Okay. The main point over here is that they will generate 10 short videos. And they're going to send you an email when the videos are ready. You don't have to stay on this page at all. So just paste the link, click get clips over here. And they're going to send you 10 shorts. The shorts will look like this with uh, captions. Uh, you can select the styles and the post. Each post will be coming with ranking. Ranked from 1 to 10 with the highest chance of getting viral. Okay. Number one will be the highest chance of the video getting viral. Number 10 will be the less likelihood. And they will be coming with small uh, description, right? So you can actually use it. It's very, very easy, guys. Again, it's free. You will have a certain amount of credits, okay? So after you run out of credits, then you can opt in for the uh, paid subscription and the other version with unlimited credits. But essentially, this is how you start. Just uh, get your feet wet, see what works for you, what doesn't, and then move on. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In today's video, we're going to go through the Copilot AI Assistant from Bing. Uh, AI Copilot is simply helping you to analyze and distinguish a very complicated material, studying material that can simply analyze information for you and give you analysis. Uh, let's dive into the actual functions and let's see what is the main point of using the copilot versus using the uh, Bing Chat AI or using Bing AI or using Chat GPT. So in our example over here, we are going to ask what were the top performing stocks in 2024 2023 excuse me now we're sending uh, you know the algorithm going back through the whole Bing search try to identify the top performing US stocks okay just look at this the top performing stocks in 2023 among the companies that trade in the major US exchanges with capitalization of at least one billion dollars were Gene Medical International three thousand percent Soleno Therapeutics, okay. Carvana, 1000% Carvana, my dear friends. Okay, Bridge Pile. Well, oh, that's amazing, guys. 
So you see how you can get any financial information and they also give you a couple of links underneath. How about best performed crypto in 2023? Let's see, can we get some information about the cryptocurrencies as well? It's very, very interesting. And then guys, we're going to ask for particular suggestions or predictions. The best performing cryptocurrencies of 2023 with a market cap of at least 300 million were Conflux 700% guys, Injective 600%, Singularity Net 400%, Render Token, Solana 161, Bitcoin 152, Ripple 127, Compound 126, Autos, Lido, Unbelievable. So guys, here is how you can actually extract financial information very quick with just like a couple of clicks without the need to spend an hours, you know, going through different analysis or trying to find uh, something that is uh, spread within like different blocks, different charts. With two, three clicks, you get where you're going. Can you, can you tell us what are the market expectations for these stocks and cryptos in 2024 right now we want to get what wall state is saying what analysts are saying what advisors are saying you know these people are going on cnbc to the talking and all this has been left as a as a interview information on the net so let's see can bing actually go out and find this and you know interface searching for okay market expectations doing good actually i would say that now the copilot is doing very very well much better than you know asking for a business plan or something of sort of okay now when we ask a very detailed information and using the precise setting on the filter uh, this is how you go you get things done guys now the copilot is extracting the information about what uh, is the market set as a ratings buy sell and they also give us the expectations for the price target so they're expecting you know the highs and the lows uh, they're expecting you know the stock to outperform beat previous year or you know simply reach its peak and, and converge so this is something very interesting this is how you extract majority of the information guys I would say this is probably one of the best prompts, the best way to utilize the copilot so far I've seen. And, you know, you need to know exactly which AI tool is doing the best job in what, so you can differentiate your choices when you have a multitasking. For more videos like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. Free AI video generator. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a free AI video in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So basically in this video, what I'm going to be doing is uh, we're going to be talking about Synthesia in a very quick way. So Synthesia is basically a generation platform where you can create an AI video using these AI models over here uh, and some texts. Okay, and it's totally free, no credit card required. Just sign up with their page and uh, they give you 140 plus avatars, 120 plus uh, languages and accents, and 60 plus pre-designed templates. You can also create your own avatar, but that does take some cost. But yeah, this is how it's going to look. They're going to give you a standard avatar. You can add videos over it, and then you can also add text prompts under it. So Synthesia.io, use it right now and get the best free video AI generations. Thank you for watching, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make the any type of YouTube video in the easiest way using this platform called Pictoria AI. So first of all, to start things off, Pictoria AI was made for YouTube creators, you know, because Pictoria, as it says, uses the AI technology to give you one of the greatest things and elements to improve your video editing and video creation. Now, why do YouTubers actually love picking Pictory? So obviously, 
you can create a faceless YouTube channel, or you can edit videos of yourself of speaking into a camera. Pictory gives you all the solutions. You get a powerful AI assistant where you can do text to speech, you can do actual, uh, you know, copywriting, you have resizing, and it does not blur the video out. It does not kill the pixels. It has a media library of massive number of elements. There's so many things that you can work with. And then, you know, you can get a text to speech AI with the right voice to give your faceless YouTube channel a big punch. Then it's PC and Mac compatible. So any compatibility works. You can, you know, start from text, paste your scripts and get a text to speech. You can get recorded videos of yourself. You get customized branding settings. And then you can preview, generate and share different videos for yourself. So it's really fun to use this. And it's really fun to get your head around these types of features for yourself. Okay. So that's the general idea of using Pictory. And uh, that is how you can create videos on YouTube with Pictory AI. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use DALI image generator inside the Canva app. It's a little different. Uh, we did a couple of videos prior. We made a couple of uh, examples and case studies. If you're curious, you can see our results. We create a brand image. We create a couple of uh, prototypes for products. So you can check out these videos as well. In today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to create something different. So the first thing you want to come over here at canva.com and you want to click on apps. Then you want to go over and find DALI. So how are you going to go over here about simply choosing creating something from scratch like we're going to do over here or using an existing design. If you already had certain projects in Canva, you can simply import them here. Let's click on use a completely new design. And in this example over here, guys, we are going to create uh instagram story and this instagram story will be different simply because we're going to utilize something that no one expects to see remember instagram stories are usually something that you have experienced or something that you saw on the street somewhere it's extraordinary it's right here right now happening okay so we're going to set a command create a story image where uh, person walks walks in the jungle and sees uh giant monkey make it look like it's a selfie taken image pretty complicated script pretty complicated prompt let's see what are the results the main difference is that dali will only give you two variations of the actual creation while if you use a magic uh, studio here on canva you're gonna, going to get four and i think this is hilarious okay so i think uh, people will be clicking on the second one most likely it's not perfect it's not amazing i honestly like more magic uh, studio ai i have uh, made plenty of videos on it you can guys check it out and see what we actually get out of it that it's okay it's not perfect for more tips like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi, guys. In today's video, I am going to show you how to use NVIDIA AI. There is a link pinned in the comments. This is my affiliate link. You can, guys, use it to sign in, to log in, and to use it to explore the app. There is a free plan that you can actually, guys, use. So go ahead, and if you're interested, you want to make sure that you learn more about it. Let me give you a brief overview of the app. This is where you're going to come and you're going to log in or create your account. There is two options to do it. First of all, we got to break down that there is a mobile app for NVIDIA for the iOS, okay, for the iPhones. And there is a desktop version which everyone knows, everyone uses. So when you click on try NVIDIA AI, this is where you're going to be prompt to use your Gmail account, your Apple ID or your Gmail. Okay, you can log in with your Google account as well. 
So essentially, you want to make sure that before you sign up, you know exactly what are the plans and how in video actually works. Let me give you a quick rundown. Okay, first of all, is the free plan. The free plan gives you 10 minutes of work with AI generative. Okay, so this will give you 10 minutes. That's it. I know it's very, very little. That's the free plan. But you, you're going to get the 10 gigabytes of storage for exports with the watermark of NVIDIA, of course, and 2.5 million of standard media. So you're not going to get the iStock, but you're going to get like a standard media. Pieces of content that probably a lot of people already downloaded, created and uploaded somewhere else. So it's not going to be your best shot, but something that you can play, you can see how is it, how does it work, you know, you can practice. The second plan is the plus $20 a month. You're going to get 50 minutes of AI generative. You're going to get 80 stock uh, footages, stock content per month. You're going to get 100 gigs of storage. You're going to get unlimited exports and you're going to get up to one user. The last plan is the most expensive, guys. It's $48 a month. This plan gives you 200 minutes of AI generative and you're going to get 320 different iStock uh, content pieces. This is going to be per month again. You're going to get 400 gigs of storage. You're going to get unlimited exports, but still you're going to get up to one user. So for corporates, for multi-account uh, logins, you got to contact them. Check out the link in the in the comment that is pinned, guys, if you are interested and if you want to explore the app. For more tips and tricks like this, subscribe and come back for more. Hi, guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use DALI inside the Canva app. Very easy, very simple. The first step, of course, will be to log in into your Canva account. And then you have to go to Discover App section. When you come over here, guys, you want to click on the filter on the top over here and you want to filter all the apps uh, with the AI powered. So this will help you to see all the current apps that are using AI and they're producing content based on the AI. So in this example, I'm going to use DALI. We made probably 15 different videos yesterday on uh, Magic Studio from AI Image Generator from Canvas. So guys, you want to make sure that you check these videos as well. Let's jump into DALI. Let's click on it. The way how DALI works inside Canva is that you will have the option to edit uh, already pre-made content, picture, video, or you essentially can create a brand new design over here. For this example, I am going to click uh, new design. So guys, we're going to create a logo with DALI. Okay. So if you didn't use DALI prior, DALI is a little different. If you uh, <clears throat> if you use the other AI tools, uh, because DALI over here doesn't have any additional filters. So everything what you type in the prompt will be what you're going to get. With Magic uh, Studio, we had an option where you choose the style. Is it going to be animation? Is it going to be vintage look like? So it's like a different styles, different designs. Also, you have an option to change the aspect ratio with Magic Studio. Here, it's pretty random, but the results sometimes are amazing. So in this video, guys, I'm going to show you how you can create something cool. So we're going to ask Dali to create uh, an electric scooter an electric scooter okay based on tesla based on tesla's car design okay and also we are going to see make it as realistic as realistic as possible for product prototype boom let's generate and let's see what results we're going to get with dali we're going to get only two variations of the prompt in terms of content with uh, magic studio you're going to get four each time 
Also, the crates that you're going to get with Dali are much less uh, versus the crates you're going to get with Magic Media. So now, as you can see over here, we can still change the results by simply adding more inside our prompt as a text. But we can click on the image itself and we can essentially drag the edges so we can make it larger from one side to the other. The good thing that is because it's generated from AI, it is not going to reduce the quality of the actual image. It's not like the usual JPEGs, okay? So now if I zoom out, guys, you will see that, yeah, it is not perfect. It is not amazing. I would say it looks uh, futuristic, but definitely not what I was expecting. Uh, <clears throat> I think... Probably if we if we did a, if we did a, a little more uh, description and probably if we had a little more context towards the prototype, probably we could have a better results. But essentially, guys, this is how you are going to use the whole DALI with Canva, and this is how you can utilize the prompts, learn from my mistakes, and make even better content, guys. For more videos like this, subscribe and like this video.